The golf driver setup position is crucial to get right if you want to hit those long straight drives. If you want to be more consistent, hit the sweet spot more consistently. Today we're going to show you the five setup fundamentals you need in order to outdrive your mates all day long. G'day golfers, I'm Glenn Haynes. Welcome to Aussie Golf Pros, where we help you be the best golfer you can be. The driver setup position is a little different to the irons because it's shaped differently. We want the launch conditions to be different. So you need to go through these step by step and make sure that you get them right so that you can be more consistent with your driver and hit those longer straighter drives. Right, step one is the tee height. We want to get the tee height right so that we can find that sweet spot more consistently. But we don't want to hit the grass. So we're going to raise it up high enough that we don't hit the grass, high enough that we can knock the tee out of the ground. So it makes sense to have a, a tee that's got a mark on it or some sort of step. This is a bugle tee. It's great for getting the right height and we'll, we'll have some information later on how you can get hold of these. So getting that step right down to the bottom there so that it's consistent height and that's gonna help you be more consistent with your setup. So we're looking for around about half the ball showing above the driver, the top of the driver. That way, as we come through with the driver just above the ground, that gives us our best chance of finding the sweet spot. A lot of fitters like to have the tee height really high, so you're hitting up on it a lot and getting good numbers, but my experience is that a lot of golfers just go underneath that and sky too many shots. So just half the ball above the top of the driver is gonna be your optimum spot, but you need to react to how you're hitting it. So it's a good idea to hit some shots putting a spray on the club face, dry shampoo or a foot spray, so that you get some feedback. And obviously, if you're striking it too high up the face consistently, then you can lower the tee down a little bit. And if you're a little bit too low, then you can come up a little. You've got to react to how you're striking it. You've got to find the right tee height for you. All right, step two is to put the driver head behind the golf ball, but probably not how you think. A lot of golfers just put the driver right behind the golf ball with the sweet spot next to the ball. I'm going to suggest you don't do it that way. I suggest you set up with the toe of the club next to the golf ball because you're probably resting the driver on the ground. Different if you're actually hovering the club and some great players do that. Jack Nicklaus did that, I think Tiger Woods did that. But most golfers like to rest the driver on the ground. They find that a little bit more stable, a bit consistent. So if you do rest the driver on the ground, it makes sense that you set up out the toe because when you come through and hit the golf ball, your driver is going to be in the air slightly. So you've got to make that slight adjustment. Add that to the fact that you're probably going to stretch your arms out quite a lot. You need to have some space. The driver is the longest golf club in your bag, so you need to be far enough away from the golf ball that you can actually hit it properly. So definitely experiment with setting up with the driver, the toe of the driver next to the golf ball. And if that means that you're hitting the shots out of the toe, then you can go back to hitting it out the middle. But if you're hitting shots out of the heel of the driver, then this can be a really quick fix for you and we can hit a lot straighter shots if we can find the middle. If you're hitting it out the heel, that's putting side spin on the ball and that's contributing to that fade or that slice that you might be struggling with. Step three, we want the ball forward in the stance. As I said earlier, the launch condition is a little different. We've got it up on the tee and our ideal launch angle is to actually hit the ball on the up, to hit the ball up the backside so that we can get a higher launch with less spin. That's gonna help you with your distance. If we're hitting down on the ball with the driver, then we're going to hit it too low, we're gonna to create too much backspin, and you're definitely gonna lose a lot of distance that way. So by getting the ball, you really want it opposite your lead heel there, opposite your left heel for a right-hander, so that you're more behind the golf ball. The long driving guys tee it up right out there, but they only need to hit the fairway once every five shots or something. So. The good balance here is, is forward of all of your other clubs, opposite that left heel, so that you are hitting on the up, getting that higher launch, getting less spin, and that's gonna help you gain more distance. Which leads us into step four. You've gotta make sure that your alignment is still good, because when a lot of golfers move the ball forward in the stance, they tend to set up with the shoulders quite open. Clearly, that's going to encourage you to swing across the ball causing that slice or a pull to the left for the right-hander. Because what happens here is as we move our feet back and we set up to the golf ball, it's very easy to get into this position here quite open. So you've got to watch that. So the way to do that is 
we want the lead arm, the left arm for a right-hander, and we want that straight, but the trail arm, the right arm, is going to be flexed. And that helps you to get those shoulders and make sure the shoulders are parallel to the feet and parallel to your target line. That's going to really get you into a much more consistent setup because if you're getting your shoulders too open or too closed, that's really going to affect your swing path, your swing direction, and you're really going to have trouble hitting the ball straight from there. And that leaves us with step five, still on the shoulders. So as we get that lead arm straighter and we flex the trail arm, that means that that lead shoulder is going to be nice and high. We want that. We want the spine tilted behind the golf ball. That again helps us to get that high launch, hitting up the backside of the golf ball, hitting it on the arc. Also, staying behind the golf ball like this, it's really critical to get the maximum distance and consistency. If you're in this position here with your shoulders level, that's very difficult to turn through the shot. Your upper body is going to take over too much and you're really going to give up a lot of mobility and a lot of distance that way. Earlier I mentioned using a strike spray, a dry shampoo or a foot spray on your driver so you can get some quality feedback on your ball striking. To learn how to do that, watch this video next. It's really going to enhance finding that sweet spot. There's your free download. That's the training guide from today's lesson. All of the notes and images. You can download that straight to your phone, take it to the range with you. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to your company next week. Are you the best golfer you can be?